Okay, welcome to my world. Welcome to the stream. It is time for us to make some homemade chicken noodle soup. Sorry, guys. Okay, my mom had her COVID shot today, the first one. So, and she did that. What I'm going to do is make her some chicken soup. She got so far. Oh, 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 Street Life, hello. I'm Matthew Smith. Good to see you. The COVID shot, it's not FDA approved, but to each their own. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Okay, guys. Yay! Oh, oh, shoot. Yay. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh, this is the city. Los Angeles, California. Spreads out in all four directions like a problem. What does it go? This is the city. Los Angeles, California. Spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. There are high tension wires bringing in the power. Plus lines to get you where you're going. A library in the police station. That's where I work. I'm a cop. Dun, da, da. Dun, da, 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 da. Dun, da, 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 da. This is the city. Los Angeles, California. Spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom road. There are police, there are high tension wires bringing in the power. Bus lines to get you where you're going. A library and a police station. That's where I work. I'm a cop. Dun da dun dun da dun dun da dun da dun. This is the city. Los Angeles, California. Um, what TV show is that from? What I've been singing. What TV show is that? This is the city. Los Angeles, California. Mm -hmm. Spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. There are high tension wires bringing in the power, a bus station, and a police department. That's where I work. I am a cop. Dun da dun, dun da dun da dun, dun da dun da dun. Dun da dun da dun. Yes, exactly. Joining the revolution. Dun da dun da dun. What TV show is that that I'm singing? Dun da dun. That intro. Can you all remember what intro this is from? I'll sing it again. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. It spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. There are high tension wires bringing in the power, a bus station, and a library. And a police department. That's where I work. I'm a cop. Dun da dun, dun da dun da dun, dun da dun da dun, dun da dun da dun. Think again. It's a different TV show. I'm not going to um, tell you what show this is, but you got to know this show. Everybody that's older knows this show. Dun da dun, 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. This is the city, Los Angeles, California. Spreads out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. There are high tension wires bringing in the power, a bus station, a library, and a police department. That's where I work. I'm a cop. Dun da dun, dun da 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 dun da dun. I'm working at a bunco division today. My boss is Captain Didion, and my name's Friday. Dun da dun, dun da dun da dun, dun da dun da dun. This is the city, Los Angeles, California, spreading out in all four directions like a broad loom rug. And this is where I work. I'm a cop. Dun da dun, dun da dun 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 You still got to remember this TV show. Because I'm kind of surprised that everybody doesn't remember this show. Or they're just not participating in the conversation. Yes. Mm -hmm. But anyway, if you don't like to watch Friday, that's okay. If you don't know who Friday is and Captain Diddy, I'm working at a Bonco division. What other division I'm working at every day? Dun, 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 dun. you got to figure out who this guy is that works in this TV show with. And what the name of this copy is. It's not Andy Griffith, guys. Dragnet. You don't remember Dragnet? Dun, dun, dun. Dragnet was in the 50s. And the six, and they brought it back in the late 60s. They was in the 50s and they brought it back in the early 50s. They brought it back in the late 60s. The Dragnet show. His name was Jack Webb. And it was produced by Jack Webb. So yeah, Dragnet. If you don't know who Dragnet is, and Jack Webb and Detective Friday from Dragnet. That's what that is. Dragnet. Dun 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 For the really, really old cop shows. That's a good one. If you like really old cop shows. Dun 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 One time in the early 50s, they had a man dressed up as a woman on it. He was living in a hotel for women. A hotel all for women. And he was stinking. He was living in there in the women's hotel and he was stealing and he was beating up women, just mug them and rape and rob the women. So that's what they did. They put him in jail. Hmm. So this is how I'm cooking it. I'm letting everything boil all at the same time in this chicken soup. Oh, God. Yes, we're taking some of these carrots and we're putting them in here. That's what we're doing. This is the kind of soup that we eat. These almost look like fingers. Fingers, George, fingers. Do you want fingers in your soup? That's the truth. I don't want fingers in my soup. I don't want no fingers in my soup. I don't want no fingers in my soup, no, Lord. I don't want no fingers. 
I was born in 1990. Martha Stewart ain't got nothing on Joni. Yeah, you know it. Yeah. Oh, you're born in 1990. Okay. That's good. I was born in 74. I remember my grandparents were the generation that Dark Detective Friday would have been part of that generation because of the, or, or you know, cause my granddad was born in 1920, so. I guess that they would have almost been like that, you know, Detective Friday type of a generation. You know, they were adults, working parents and adults in the 50s. You know, they would have been the ones that wore the fedora hats and, you know, Humphrey Bogart and everything. You know? Just like them. You know, you get to live with those people. You live with your grandparents, but you all's grandparents are young people. Your grandparents are younger. They're the baby boomers age of people. Like my mom was like a baby boomer type of a person. So she you know, she was in that generation. She was part of the hippie type of the era of the summer of love era, you know? And um protests at the protests down south in civil um you know, going to segregated schools and stuff in the fifties. Fifties, going to segregated high schools, segregated schools, you know, that's when my mom was a little kid. That's how it was when my mom was a kid. She went to a segregated school. Back when my mom did back in the day. So when I was a kid growing up, there was no internet. So all my whole life growing, I like Sanford and Son too. That's good, Mar. So this is how I put everything to boil all at one time. I've got a thing of chicken broth. That's a chicken broth. You can't see it too well. Oh, leave a tender moment alone, even though I'm in love. I'm not the one you chose in under my Leave a tender moment alone, even though I'm in love. Down on the pension guitar, and I am a serious mood. We crying for an eye, and even the woman love her. She is not the woman I know, she's undeniably real. Even the woman love her. All the world are like, we do not have Oh, 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 oh,
John, Cobra John, you're in timeout. Guess what? Woo, brother! <laughs> Cobra John was blocked. And Ponzi go, hey, brother, I love you. I sang for you, my son. Coming back again to sing for you. Every night, a smile. Shoo do be do be do be do be do be do do be do do be do 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 Singing my songs for you every morning. Every morning, you sing to you. Every night, we always love you. Love
Hope you're having a good night, Joni. Thank you, Matthew. Let's see the soup. Okay. This is the soup. No soup for you. Come back. One year. That is the soup. So it's going to take a while to cook. I need to find the lid for it. The lid for the soup. I think for you. Okay. So, guys, okay, anyway, Casey Hamptons, we feel this should be a treat. Cooking with Joni, yay. Casey Hamptons, good to see you. Nice to see you here in the house. So, anyway, okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, what would you like for me to talk about? What would you guys like to talk about? What would you like for me to talk about, guys? Nice to see you, too, Cassidy. Mm, what would you guys like for me to talk about while the soup's cooking? Hi, y'all. Good. Mm. Okay. we got a new idea with the truck camper. And I'll show you guys. Hey, this is a great time to show you guys. Ooh. Are you using a whole chicken? No, I didn't use a whole chicken. I've got a bag here, um, Cassidy. Yay, joining the revolution. That's right. Um, Cassidy Hampton, this is a Kroger bag of chicken tenderloins. Um, yeah, chicken tenderloins. And, so, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the truck camper. I don't know for sure, guys, if I'm going to extend the truck camper out two feet or not. Mm. But mm. I need to clean things up a little. Yeah, I've just been thinking. 
Let's talk about Wayne. Is he your boyfriend? No, Wayne's just a friend. Wayne is gay and he likes men, but he doesn't really like transgender people. Oh, I need to do that, William Hansen Jr. I'll tell you what, I'll do a transgender uh, stream later tonight. And you can come and join me. The channel is called Laven Lavender Blue. So if you haven't subscribed to the Lavender Blue channel, subscribe to the Lavender Blue channel. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. But, yeah, the Lavender Blue channel is a different another channel. And Cassidy Hempton and other people, I don't put that kind of content on this channel. I just put cooking, cooking, RVs, stuff like that. Lavender Blue Channel. That's the name of the channel. I've got some wood left over from the Van Buell with Marshall Elvis Travels. And so, and I'm working up to the other side of his thing here. And just because I have some friends with Marshall doesn't mean I support everything he does. You know, he treated Rosie bad, you know. And just because, you know, he treated Rosie bad doesn't mean I'm not friends with him. Because I still like him, you know. And your people as friends, you know, don't always agree about everything. Even me and Wayne. I've been friends with Wayne for like 12 years. Him and I don't agree about everything. Me and Wayne don't agree with everything. I mean, he, you know, he's got his faults and I've got my faults. Marshall's got his faults. We've all got our faults. And the point is, is I don't support everything he does just because he does it. Mm -hmm. I'm not this person that's in cahoots with him that just does whatever he wants. You know, I do what I want to do. And so, okay. Now, the truck camper, I'm thinking if I want this to be a lot better, either make some more siding that looks like this. But what I was going to do is I won't let him take advantage of me, Cassidy. I won't let anybody take advantage of me. Take this and run this out two more feet. Or two and a half more feet like some of the other truck campers and I know I can do it somehow and make it work and two feet longer in the back I'll take the ladder and everything off the camper the siding off the back and um, take it off and then my new addition will go on then the new siding and the ladder I'll go on the back of the new addition and this area this siding area I was thinking of using more of this kind of siding if I can make or find some or I can just get diamond quilted aluminum then I was also thinking about extending the front of the nose out, so it would come it like it comes down here, it would continue to come down here a two feet and then come down just like it does, and it'd just be two feet longer, and then I could use more of this kind of siding or just come straight down with a divider, and it would be a uh, diamond quilted aluminum from here out. And instead of getting a whole new camper, because I've done a lot of work on this. So when I got my windows all blacked out here. Another thing for the truck I'm thinking of is just a dually, a dually um, adapter kit. You can get a dually, a new truck camper, I thank you. It's a 1988. So it's an 88 Coachman. So I'll let you see the other side. I'm thinking about converting this truck to a dually. It's an 89 GMC Sierra, three-quarter ton 2500 so I got my windows blacked out so when you're boondocking somewhere nobody's going to know you're in there because the windows are completely blacked out I had graphics on here I got rid of the graphics they're all gone and I touched up the paint on it it's an 88 and t yeah so I didn't I need more work done to it oh thank you thank you yeah thank you Okay, and um, so if I, I was thinking of painting it black, actually. See, the Coachman is an 085 SD. Now, this down here is interesting. This is a heated basement. I've got a heater down here, and all of my holding tanks are enclosed. So, Okay, here's where I dump my sewage, guys. See, my dump valves are all inside this door here. My dump valves are inside there, so everything's enclosed. See, there's nothing on the bottom. It's completely flat on the bottom. So that's an advantage of this truck camper. Just the heated basement, the four seasons. So this camper, 
is one of the first Four Seasons truck campers. So if you think of an Arctic Fox or a Host or an Arctic Fox or a newer one, this is an original. Very, very, very. Thank you. Well, thank you, Imar. Thank you. This camper is one of the very, very first Four Seasons truck campers. It's a very one of the very early, early ones of the Four Seasons kind of truck camper. That's why I really don't want to get rid of it because, you know, in order to get a Four Seasons, usually you have to get a host or an Arctic Fox or a Lance, you know, with heated basement to it. You've got two ducks, one in the front by the floor, one back here, and then one in the basement. So you got a duck in the basement, so. So. Let's see. And I'll show you guys what I've done. See? You walk in. Now it's messy in here. Forgive the mess. Okay. Got my little radio up here. If I extend the front end out, I'll take the bed and turn it around so it goes long ways. Long ways. And then I'll have a closet over here because it'll be narrower because it's longer. And put a dehumidifier over here and maybe a washing machine. If I extend the back out, the washing machine will go in the back. But if not, I can put the tiny portable washing machine over here somewhere. What I wanted to show you guys is the closet was in here. And I, I adjusted these strikers here so it'll close and stay closed. I've got a record player and I'm thinking about putting it in here and putting a drawer lid on this, a door on it. But you see, this is where you hang clothes. I don't need all this for clothes space. So what I want to do is build a divider. A divider in the middle. And the divider will come right to the edge of this door. So the divider. So this, this side over here will be closet hanging. And like in Elvis's van, this side in your shelf just like in the Lisa Marie it'll be shelves in here like the Lisa Marie so you open this door you get to your shelves and you open this side you get to your closet hanging space so that's how it's going to be I'm going to divide it in half okay now for temporary and you got a place for extra hanging closet space okay now now what I've done Okay, now I built this closet from scratch. This was my closet. You put your bath towels in there, toiletries in there, and you got place for extra hanging, you see, in your bathroom. And I could even put a curtain or something over this when you took a shower. You can still do, you know, wash your hands, but this whole thing is removable, see? It's removable, and I'm going to paint these hangers. And I just installed these hangers here so you can have extra hanging space in your bathroom. So that's how you can do this. Hey guys, yeah. Okay, guys. So this is how it works. This is my closet space in my bathroom. You know, hanging clothes up in here. And then, um, you know, I've got my shower. And stuff like that. I could caulk this with sealant, silicone sealant, all around here so it won't leak or anything when you take in a shower. Yeah, I put this in here and it's removable. You can take this completely out, so that's extra storage. And then, like I said, on this side, there's going to be a divider wall. And then this will be shelved like the Lisa Marie up in here. And on this side over here, you're going to still have hanging space. And so that's how I'm going to do this. I think this will be make more sense. So anyway, guys, this is what I've been working on and doing here, you know. So if I extend it, what do you guys think? Do you think I should extend the nose and extend the back end or what? I would have a lot more living space. But in the back half where I extend the camper out two and a half feet, I'm going to have a closet here. On this side of me, with a washing machine and a place to hang the washing machine and clothes hanging, and then over here, then I'll have another closet over here with dresser doors or something, 
And I'll put shelves on this side too, because I won't need it. I need that hang for hanging. I need this is my pantry. And then I have a closet here and closet over on both sides. So I extend the camper two and a half feet. It'll be an 11 foot truck camper. It'll be an 11 foot. So it won't be an eight and a half foot truck camper anymore. It'll be 11 feet. And I would like to get a lagoon table too. So I'd like to have a lagoon table. But yeah, that's what I want to do is get a lagoon table. So I just thought I'd show you guys. Anyway. Donna. Donna was her name. Oh, Donna. So. Two extra propane tanks here. <laughs> Oh, Donna. Donna was her name. I've got left over. Okay. Okay now. Yes. Lordy Lordy. Lordy Lordy. Lordy Lordy. What is you doing, Lordy Lordy? Yeah, tell me guys, tell me what you think. Should I extend my camper and make it bigger? I can run it on a short bed truck if I have it. You know, like it is. But if I if I re resign myself to dualies and heavy trucks, then I'll have more room. Nobody's talking anymore. I guess that this is the end of the stream. I'll come back, guys, and I'll... Yeah. I'm going to let you guys go here. If you're going to go two feet, go even more. Yeah, I could go even more, but it can only get so big and be a truck camper. so Because it has to sit in the bed of the pickup truck. So I think nobody's saying anything. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and I'll come back when the soup is done. Because obviously nobody's saying anything. So I think my stream went cold or something. So I'll catch you guys later. Like, share, subscribe. Join the revolution. Catch me later in a little bit. And I will catch you where the sun don't shine.